Yet another way to present weight and balance information is found in a beach pilot's operating handbook. They use tables, moments and hundreds, and the choice of a table, a graph, and the allowable CG ranges to use in ascertaining that the airplane is within limits. Beach also uses the nose as datum. Let's figure a problem using the tables. This aircraft weighs, empty, 2,022 pounds and has a moment index of 1,556, stated in hundreds of pound inches. To go along on the flight, the pilot and front seat passenger together weigh 400 pounds. Go to the line for 200 pounds and double the moment index of 170 to get a value of 340 for the front seat occupants. The rear seat occupant weighs 110 pounds for a moment index of 133. Put 44 gallons, 264 pounds of fuel in the main tanks for a moment index of 198. Then put 19 gallons, 114 pounds in the auxiliary tanks for a moment index of 107. Finally, the planned 40 pounds of baggage comes out to a moment index of 56. The total weight comes to 2,950 and the moment index to 2,390. Is that okay? The weight is, but the moment index is less than the minimum on the table, which would indicate that the CG is forward of the limit. If you wanted to do the division problem, moment divided by weight, you'd see that the CG is loaded would be 81 inches aft of datum, and the forward limit is 82.1 at 2,950 pounds. To try to bring the CG within limits, move one of those big guys in front to the back and let the 110 pounder ride up front. The weight would stay the same you would only have to refigure the moment index. And if you're using a sporty Z6B, here's how easy it would be to calculate the change. When the arm for the various locations on the airplane is given, it's easier to use the weight arm function of the E6B. This avoids the need to interpolate for weights which do not fall on the table. After calculating the weight and balance, the E6B shows the center of gravity forward of limits. If the passengers switch seats, they will get off the airplane and then board in the different seats. To compute the effect of switching seats, do it the same way. Take the two passengers off the airplane and reboard them in the new seating arrangement. Enter the weight of the 215 pound passenger as a minus by using the change of sign key. Then enter the arm. Do the same for the 110 pounder, and the center of gravity with both off the airplane is 79.01 inches aft of the datum. Now put them back in the airplane. The 215 pounder at the 121 inch arm, and the 110 pounder in the front seat at the 85 inch arm. The new center of gravity is 82.29 inches aft of datum and the moment index is 2,427.57. Both weight and center of gravity are now within limits.